in winning second day of exhibition. Yeah. You survived. I survived, yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so, first impression after the first day of eBay 2023. Well, actually, it's a good impression. Generally, it was a very, very busy day. We was expecting it so, so, so much. Uh, we uh, exhibiting every year in the base, and this time, well, it was uh, just exciting. Day one was busy. Um, yeah, a lot of people just was getting late yesterday because of, of, of uh, we know what happened yesterday. Yes, sir. Well, delayed flight and so, but yeah, it was a very, very good response we received from our customers and the people who were just stopping by. Uh, obvious question, how business aviation is doing in Spain? Good question. Actually, Spain, it's a good destination. It's nice. Have you ever been in Spain before? Not yet. No, please come. <laughs> You're more than welcome. Yeah. I so, should. Spain, it's, it's great. I mean, uh, it's mostly tourism and leisure destination. So, uh, if you remember in the last year, in the 2022, which was a boom in the business aviation generally and the volumes, we've been like in, uh, on the top of the list almost always in the statistics. Now, now we're doing good, uh, but I can tell that uh, last winter, this winter, 22-23, was quite concerning for us, a little bit. We but eventually um, dropped the volume uh, up to pre-pandemic levels, even lower, a little bit. So it was just like, well, what is happening right now after all this 2022 boom? Uh, but uh, I think it's, it's some new trends are coming into the market, and especially in Spain. Uh, for example, I can tell you that uh, the, the standard high season for us, normally it's beginning of the second half of May, but this year we started already our high season. In so March, maybe it's yeah. just changing the it's season changing. and yeah. people are coming. Yeah. Yeah. You will not have all that peak season. Yeah, probably. It will be... Mm -hmm. Non stop, yeah, exactly. So, uh, we should visit Spain. I will, yes, about please. That. It's definitely. I'm from <laughs> Barcelona, uh, I'm, I'm based there, so it's a very nice. Destination. There is one destination which uh, I'm interested to see, especially see Sevilla. Sevilla, really? Oh, wow, it's, 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 it's good, good one, good one. A lot of flamenco, <laughs> you know, uh, I will dancing see. and music, yeah. Uh, very easy and obvious question because non-stop uh, during uh, eBay, everyone speaks about sustainable aviation. Yeah. Uh, would you agree if uh, we say that uh, we should finally uh, tell everyone that business aviation actually is doing huge efforts and investing a lot in changing and becoming more sustainable? How do you see from your perspective? Because uh, we are pointed as bad guys, but in fact, we are heavily <laughs> yeah. investing in changes, not only in aviation and yeah. business aviation, but for all other industries. Absolutely right. So thank you, Tatiana. It's a very good question. Actually, I'm, I'm um, you know, yesterday or the day before, I was uh, reading some articles in, the, uh, in uh, one of the magazines, and uh, our industry, our sector of business aviation was called like climate criminals. And I was kind of offended about this because uh, we all know that when all these um, issues and concerns about the sustainability and environmental things was arised like several years ago, I think our industry, our sector, in our niche in, in the aviation was the, one of the first one to put all the necessary efforts. The industry leaders, operators, all of them started to put efforts and uh, investigation and all this, uh, all these things to improve and to see what, how we can address these concerns about um, uh, about sustainability. So um, I think we're doing a great job, absolutely great job, and we're doing all what we have in, in the efforts. So, for example, as uh, from our perspective, we are an FBO agent. We are handling agent. We are. Um, what you did different? Uh, what we did different. So first of all. We, uh, in Spain, uh, we are under very strict regulation by the airport and authority. So we have to be green, as we normally call it. So we move to all the green vehicles, so electrical propulsion vehicles. Uh, we adopted some uh, new and more strict um, eco-friendly practices in our daily life, daily operation, even in the offices. So we, we're trying to do recycling, all this stuff. So in what we can do from our perspective and from our daily job, we do this. And this year, actually, I think it's right, right in the final stretch of the process, we obtained a certification of uh, ISO 
14001. So this is uh, important. We want to show the customers, the world, the people that we are concerned about it and we want to do whatever is in our hands. To, to uh, exactly. Because of that, another question. Uh, do you think that we communicate enough and telling enough about our efforts? Because, again, just because we are pointed out as uh, yeah, climate criminals. Climate criminals, yes. Do we have to explain more in details mm. what we have invested in the future technology, how it's changing the everyday life? Because if that, uh, people are thinking that business aviation is yeah. just a bling bling nice uh, flying golden business jet, but it's not the case. They are forgetting, I guess in Spain it's the same, yeah. uh, uh, they are forgetting about medical evacuation. Mm. Uh, Right after COVID, yeah. everyone forgot about that, forget that about we that. were Absolutely. necessary yes. to yes. find yeah, yeah. Uh, critical patients. So sh should we communicate more or in a different way to tell what exactly we're doing? And should we change the perception of the situation? Definitely, definitely we should because I think... We're doing a good job generally in business aviation, the companies. If we go through LinkedIn, just the daily, uh, daily view that we have on LinkedIn page, we have a lot of information from the companies, operators, uh, fuel companies about the steps they're adopting for this new, uh, for this, uh, eco-friendly practices. But I think we should do more, definitely. Maybe, uh, not only the social media, but social media is a crucial part. So everyone has to talk about it to explain what the market, we what we do exactly, uh, to show the numbers, what we do exactly, how much of them, and repeatedly to do it every, every time. And different organizations, so we trying to do it from our perspective, it's a ground handling agent and, and the airports. Companies should do it. A uh, few companies should do it. And maybe more organizations like EBAA should probably provide more information uh, through other channels, more top-level channels, what we do, how much we invest, and uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, my last question, uh, how, what is the situation with future aviation guys in Spain? Do you have enough of dreamers willing to join the industry? Or again, should we reach out more to have more guys coming to the industry? You mean uh, like uh, people, staff, want everyone, to work, because, everyone? Everyone, uh, because, uh, you know, when we talk about aviation, sometimes people are thinking that pilots, flight and then that's it. Oh, yeah. uh, many of them have no idea what it takes to fly an aircraft, mm -hmm. what it takes to handling it. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. not about that. So do you have enough of people willing to work with you? We have, but we need more, definitely, because, uh, you know, um, I'm... Um, Aviation enthusiast. I've been in aviation for a lot of, a lot of years. I've been working for commercial aviation, but my real passion is business aviation, indeed. And uh, it's an incredible world, absolutely. So handling and FBOs, we are um, we are the mo one of the most important parts of the tra general travel experience because, of course, pilot, aircraft, flight attendant, food, catering. But we are the people who gives the first smile to the passengers. And to the first crew impression. members, first impression, when the crew just arrived from the hotel, we are one who, who give this smile to provide them the good good mood, you know. Um, yes, we definitely need more people in aviation, more people passionate about aviation. You know, uh, one of the things when I'm uh, doing interviews for the new staff members, I'm always, um, before explaining the salary conditions, shift conditions, and all this stuff, I say, you have to be in love with this. And if you're not, you just have to spend couple of days on the front of the aircraft, uh, on the ramp, you will fall in love with aviation. So it's it's an incredible world, and I think it's uh, so dynamic, it's uh, so fresh, and uh, we can see it from a base, so many young people in the industry, which I'm, I'm amazed about it. You know, we have these meetings all this day, and the people in the top position in the company, the young people, which is great, because it's another approach to all the tasks and issues in the aviation, one of them the environment, so yes, Please, aviation is a great <laughs> world, and please come and, <laughs> and enjoy with us. I wish you a very good e-base, and I guess I will have to fly and visit. Yes, please. Spain. Come whenever you want. You're <laughs> more than welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Tatiana. Enjoy.